I work for a company called Weatherby Scientific and Weatherby's have overseen the governance of the general stud book since 1791 whereby uh, Weatherby's established the very first stud book in the UK and Ireland. Part of the remit or, of that role was to ensure pedigree verification and integrity of that pedigree verification using the technology of the time um, and over those two and a half centuries uh, Weatherby's have embraced technology evolution whereby they have implemented molecular solutions such as blood typing and microsatellite markers, STRs, and now um, we're uh, as, as an industry, an equine industry, on the brink of making a transition from STR markers to, to SNP molecular markers. So that's, that's really where Weatherby's as a company sits within the industry and um, uh, I've been part of that journey um, from a science perspective as well. So from a, a genotype uh, by sequencing perspective, uh, so far we've carried out a pilot trial, been able to look at uh, 500 SNPs generated using genotype by sequencing. We've been able to see that those 500 SNPs perform very well in terms of uh, call rates and genotype concordance across platforms. And once we have those genotype profiles, we have been able to compare the effectiveness of those SNP profiles in comparison to STRs. And we have seen an increase in performance around uh, testing, accuracy, etc. And that all feeds back into ensuring the integrity of um, the testing that's carried out to validate the uh, stud book going forward. I think AgriSeq GBS technology is going to really facilitate the transition that the industry is potentially uh, about to undertake, whereby as it stands from a SNP panel perspective, the particular panel is not quite locked down within the industry yet. And uh, one could expect that that panel may change slightly over the next few years. And I believe that AgriSeq technology will be able to adopt to that panel needs as it changes and be able to do so in a, in a very flexible manner and yet maintain the service offering of the, the, the genotyping output that the industry will need. Uh, I think it's going to be somewhat of a moving feast over the next while. Um, based on our experience so far, the uh, chemistry works well in establishing the profiles. Um, there, there are future further development considerations based on what we've, we've seen so far. Um, but again, back to being able to, to adopt the chemistry on the fly nearly will ensure that uh, genotype and sequencing uh, will, will be a serious contender here as a technology to support this transition. There are many value adds to uh, obtaining or realising a transition from STRs to SNPs. You might even think it's probably the first stepping stone to bringing the equine industry into the genomics uh, revolution or uh, at least be able to, to leverage all the, the potential value adds of, of larger SNP genome-wide profiles. So I think uh, be it genotyping by sequencing is probably going to start the game off with low density SNP profiles, but nonetheless it's, it's about the mindset of moving from one molecular marker STRs, which is probably capped at maybe 20 genetic sites, um, to SNP molecular markers, which can expose thousands of genetic sites. And I think uh, low density GPS panels could be that first stepping stone. It's been a, a positive experience. So um, from a Weatherby scientific point of view, it has been a new journey traveling through genotyping by sequencing. And, the team have been very supportive from a uh, bioinformatics perspective to establish the, the panel uh, all the way through to the uh, lab web work that had to be carried out and then from a data analysis perspective as well there has been uh, great support there from the Thermo team. One of the pieces that we didn't see coming uh, within genotype by sequencing was the, the novel variants that, that fell out of, of the, the actual data at the end of it. So obviously, from our perspective, we were concerned with ensuring we had um, a 500 SNP panel that uh, was targeted for parentage verification. However, we got the, the value add piece of the, the novel variants, with, um, which we still have to chew through, but it was about just, um, you know, there, there's that in the pipeline as well.